it's Lee98 here and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to import custom vehicles slash replace vehicles for Mario Kart Wii. We're also going to do a quick thing on custom animations of which I will just be showing you how to import different animations that are already pre-made. So as you can see following on from the new gen 4 pack that i haven't shown anyone yet but is in production we will be doing the honch crow model that's going to go over wario as you can see this honch crow model has a japanese name from the pokey park files which can be found here in the models resource and it's an absolutely amazing resource with an incredible amount of resource <laughs> and I highly recommend using that. Um, today's file has actually come from a friend of mine who has ripped the animations for me as well as the model. Um, so I can show you quickly that basically this Honch Crow model has preloaded animations from Pokey Park Wii which enables it to fly. So here's the fly animation, if we give that a click, and we hope that it doesn't take too long to load. There we go, and we could click play, so that might lag a little bit, or a lot, but as you can see, that is flying. So it's also coming towards us, which is not what we want for a character in Mario Kart Wii. We want it to stay still whilst it's doing the animations because otherwise it would look a bit silly going forwards and then lagging to come back and so forth. So to stop that we'll just stop the animation there and we go to the origin which is where I already know there is a different keyframe from the very beginning frame. So we have frame number one all set to zero. The translation that moves this whole model forward is down to one movement in the Z axis there. So all we have to do is cut that and now we watch the animation. He won't move. He's flying on the spot. So that makes it a lot easier to use and because it's a Pokey Park Wii model what we're going to want to do is just make sure we're on frame one is we're going to make sure that the whole model itself is scaled properly so I've learned through process of trial and error that the Poké Park Wii models are very small compared to Mario Kart Wii characters so for this one I'm going to go for about 15 as you can see that brings his size up dramatically um, but that, trust me, is the right size, roughly, for a Mario Kart Wii character. Obviously, you have to think about which character you're importing, as Groundon, for example, was a lot smaller than that. So, we can exit that out because that's basically saved. What we want to do is actually go here, and what we can do and I'll explain what I did, is export the Don Karasu MDL0 as a DAE file and then import into Blender as a .fbx after using the Autodesk FBX converter that I'll link to in here. I'll also link to Blender and then all you do is import that FBX file in, literally export it straight away and convert it back to a DAE using the FBX converter and that does something where it sorts out the normals because these models from Poké Park we have normals that are set up a little bit differently and that was my fix that seems to work for me every time with these characters especially so all you have to do is export there and you could export it as a DAE convert to an FBX import into Blender export as a um, FBX, convert back to a DAE as you can see I've done there and then 
basically what we can do is import that here but we don't need to do that just yet because we're going to be using a file that you guys will recognize so you also want to export the two textures that come along with the model we just want the body and the eye we're going to use the Mario Kart Wii shaders so we don't want this specular image we want the LM0 and LM1 file which I have already exported and imported into the other file and finally we want the fly animation which is what we edited and we want to export that again into a location where you're going to remember it and for me I keep everything filed in my Gen 4 mod pack at the moment because that's what I'm working on where we have Honch Crow and we have a fly animation that was already saved but I would like to overwrite that with my new one so let's just replace that now okay so that's everything to do with this Brez file and all you need to do now is head over to a dotsers file where you'll recognize the format because it's like every modding every um, Mario Kart Wii mod and you have the driver model and cart model dot Brez files inside so I will link to one because I have a special file that I use for vehicle replacements where it actually has a slightly different setup in the cart model as you can see we have 3d models animations and textures so firstly we will get rid of ground on textures because we don't need ground on we need honch crow so control replace and we will use the honch crow body as the first one and in order to save file space because these files can get rather large we are going to also minimize the size of power of 2 will go down to 128 and that drops from 32 point something bits to 8 which is a quarter of the size and doesn't change it too much so let's duplicate that quickly so control D and then we want to bring in the I file which is in the same location and is another one where we can actually decrease the file size because it looks better obviously with higher resolution images but it doesn't look that much different when they're slightly lower res and saves a lot of file space as we can see here this file is 16 bits if we change that to a power of 2 which is 64 apply that drops down to 4 so that's a quarter of the size again and let's rename them so if you remember the name of the um, images here was Dong Karasu DH so just to keep in with that we shall call this Dong Karasu capital D H and that should work when we import the new DAE file from Blender so that's the I file okay we go to the 3d models we look at the old gen 3 mod pack ground on um, which hasn't loaded which should in just a second <laughs> and we replace it with the honch crow DAE from the blender export which I have in my downloads because I use a Mac as well as Microsoft but my Mac is for my Blender work because of the fire power. So I will just quickly stop here and hopefully I can increase the size of that. So we can see the settings to import files with. That's not increasing in size, is it? Okay, there it is. So as you can see, 
basically keep these settings for every single import. I have never changed them. They are preset once you've once you've set them for once. So just keep those the same and you should be fine. Hit OK. It will do a nice little bit of uh, business. And basically the model is there. And you can see we've got the textures correct in terms of the naming because they appear perfectly and it's not white. So we can open the materials and we can see that we need to add the new references which we like to do for making the shaders exactly like Mario Kart Wii. Um, so it basically looks as good as it can in the game. And we change these references to LM underscore zero, control N, and I can do the same for that one. So I'll just do that for them. So I can quickly change that. And now we go and change these settings. So if you're following along, change these settings in this order. We go down to texture reference, not texture reference, apologies, texture matrix effect. Change that to ENV, ENV camera. And then we go to texture reference, set the top two to clamp. And then we go down to these flags which the first one is STQ, we want ABC1. We change this to normals, which is there. And then we turn normalize on. So make that the same setting for all of these. I have got pretty quick at this, but because the computer is lagging because I'm recording, it takes its time. <laughs> so Another setting we can change on these is for the body to make it look a bit better and have it exactly like Mario Kart Wii characters is change this from false to true for the body. That's the only change in the different materials. Okay. So I'll just finish this one off and then if you remember from my other tutorial you're going to want to change the shader stages which means we need to go into the shader folder and add the file that's linked in the description so we can get the MKW shader stage 1, 2 and 3 that should be here. That might have even been that one, but I've already clicked. <laughs> so we'll link that. That comes in, and then we can happily change the body in the material now to map onto three different shader stages as well as the eye. So you see, they are all on three. And we would like the alpha of constant color three in the shader constant color block to be 255 and compare before texture be, to be true again for both of the materials so that's everything to do with the materials and the shaders um, we don't need to do anything else there all we need to do is go into this carrot uh, sorry animations file and replace all of these with our fly animation that we edited earlier and as you can see there could be a break a damage there are different animations you can add in but just for simplicity um, because we want to make honch crow fly we will keep him flying even if he gets damaged he'll be flapping his wings because he doesn't want to hit the ground so that should be done there and then we can do the same here. So it's not too hard to do this in terms of custom animations. It's just the file format has to be correct. As I've shown you with... Why has that gone to downloads? As I've shown you with the linked file that you can 
use custom vehicles with this cart model press. So as my computer is lagging, I will speed this bit up and speak to you in just a second. Okay, so now that's done, we have the flying animation in the cart model, we have the textures that we want, and we have the body of Honchkrow there. So a quick point I could say is if you want to reduce the polygon size of the character, as you can see the face points here is 2840, that is too big, and that is something I shall reduce for the model that I release in the Gen 4 mod pack, mainly because I want them all to work together online and it can't be over 210 kilobytes, the total file size. So we get onto the driver model, Brez, where as you can see, I've deleted every single file apart from the 3D models. And in the 3D models, what I've done is I've gone into the bones of the model and the model LOD and I've set the visibility of the top bone to false, so he disappears, and we never see Wario again. So, that will be done in the linked file, but that is something to do if you are following this along with a different driver model. Make sure that that is all deleted, because then that keeps the file size of the driver model down to 16,000. And all we need to do now is save this and because I'm not saving over my ground on file I want to save it as a new file in my honchcrow area I have saved already one here for me to name you want to make sure it's named la underscore bike dash wario and it's dotsers so that's saved I'll replace that and now I will head into CTGP to see if it's worked. Let's go once that's compressed. There we go. See you in a second. Right. There it is. Voila. We have Honchcrow. And uh, that's a really bad start. No, it's not as good. Look at that. We have a custom animation vehicle roaming the streets of Mario Kart Wii. And it wasn't too hard, it doesn't take too long, and I think I saw that the file size was actually really small. So that's all you have to do to import a custom vehicle into Mario Kart Wii with custom animations. Use the template I had and you can see how, how well he flies along. I got very lucky with the scaling, I think that's just from experience, not everyone will get that, but there we go. Please subscribe guys, I will be making more tutorials on how to do different parts of this type of modding experience and a lot of fun videos where I try out different things with other people as well. So please subscribe, please leave a like, leave a comment if you found this video helpful and if you are playing Diamond and Pearl, the brilliant versions, go ahead, let us know in the comments if they're any good. Thank you, see you next week, goodbye.